You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Thank you, Marshall, and I'm glad to be back. One drawback to being a solopreneur. Now, as y'all know, I kind of took the last week off. Right. Kind of took the last week off uh, fighting a combination of cold and just kind of a hoarse throat, you know, trying to stave off laryngitis and stuff. Just need a rest and everything. I sound a lot better, but I'm still taking it easy, taking it relatively easy. Now, check this out. Right. Check, Check this joint out. The one problem, though, the one issue is I'm a solopreneur. I don't, as of yet, I don't have a real system. Now, yeah, I have a lot of passive income. I have a suedo system, but it's not a real system, right? Let me me explain the difference. Now, when I say a suedo system, you know, I have all these platforms that I have videos and podcasts on, right? And so I have to do very little work, you know, you know, with the book sales. I don't have to worry about that. You know, once I upload a video on YouTube and monetize it, it just keeps making money for me. I don't have to worry about that. Right. So in a way, it's a system, but it's not a system because I don't control it. Right. Like a system would be if I have a business, like say I own a retail shop. Right. But I don't actually do any day to day stuff in there. I have um you know, a manager for it, the manager takes care of hiring and all of that. Then I might have somebody else to take care of payroll and, you know, different people to run different things. And they could basically run without me being like physically present. I might have to, you know, just go over stuff every now and then or make sure the vision stays. But that's a system. Now, under a system right now, when I had to take off last last week, when I had to take off last week, right, if I had a system, it wouldn't it wouldn't affect my money anyway. It wouldn't it really wouldn't affect my money in any way. Everything would be running as long as the system is running. And I would advise, even though right now I'm really on a solopreneur thing, I would advise if you can, if you have the stomach for it, to try to create a system. Now, if it, you know, if for whatever reason that's not you, you know, you may be a more artistic type, want to be independent, that's cool. But understand, that's the best thing if you want to keep money flowing. If you're in business, create a system or even a suedo system where, you know, you have uh, your stuff on different platforms. But that, of course, depending on it is not for everybody. Like if you're a plumber or something, like if you're an independent plumber, say, you know, that could be a problem if you're not feeling well and you get some calls, you're losing out on money or a painter or something like that. Now, it becomes a system if you can hire other people to do that. Now, that's, you know, stuff like that. You know, try to do what you can. But, you know, the one drawback to being a solopreneur is if you don't do the work, you don't make the money. It's it's that simple. And that was one of the and that was one of the things. Now, um, I've talked before about having a savings. Right. And, you know, having a surplus. So I wasn't really, I mean, it's a slight inconvenience, but I really wasn't bothered by any money I didn't make last week. I'm not, it's just, it's all going in, it's all earmarked for savings anyway. So I kind of, you know, I'm kind of doing all right there. But what if, what if my uh, money margin was tighter, tighter than that? And I needed to make that money. It needed to be out there. See, that's different. That's the drawback. Then... If, you know, you're not feeling well or, you, you know, you're sick, you need to actually rest. Oh, you're in trouble. You're in trouble, you know. And that's the toughest thing. That's why also being an entrepreneur, I, I've talked about your health is important. Uh, staying healthy, being able to still do what you do. Right. It's very important. And that's that's the only drawback. That's the only well, you, somebody could say there's other drawbacks, and but that's a major drawback, right? And, you know, I have to tell you, I mean, I can't just come on and you come to this. And, I, I, I'm, you know, I said I want to tell you all the little nuances. Well, that's a little nuance right there. That's something you have to deal with. But then that brings, I mean, it's all holistic. I might talk about 
you know, having an air mattress one day or I might talk about getting a used car the next day, but it all it all comes back. Like, say, if I was still making a car payment, right? And I missed that time, but I'm not, you know, I don't, all my bills are taken care of and I don't have to make that money to pay a bill, right? But what if you were in that type, you had to work and pay for it. You see what I'm saying? Then the health comes in because then you got to stay healthy, right? You know, you can't rest. And see, another part of it too, it's hard to take a vacation. It's really hard. I mean, you might, there's a lot of entrepreneurs, they can go years without taking a vacation, just because of uh, what they're doing. You know, they can't really afford it. Because uh, contrary to popular belief, just owning a business don't doesn't mean that you're going to make all the money. You know, like a significant amount of money. You might just make enough to keep your basic bills paid. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay because you have a lot of people in business. They biz, A lot of businesses don't make it. I'll give you an example. I remember a couple of weeks ago, I went down, um, for people who know where I live, I'm in, um, you know, Bel Air, Maryland, right? And I drove down to White Marsh, to the White Marsh Mall, because there was a Cajun place down there, right? I was like, yeah, let me go get that New Orleans food. I went down there, and the place was closed. And I was like, what the heck? I was disappointed. I wanted, man, I wanted that sausage and that red beans and rice. I was my mouth was watering for it, but that's just the nature of business. Now understand something. I went down November. It was closed. It might have been closed before that. Could have been closed in October for all I know, because I hadn't been down there in a while, right? But as as of no, I know it was closed definitely by November. But it had just opened up in May, and I'm just giving that example because businesses businesses are tight. Businesses are tight. So, and that's a system right there. So imagine if that was a solopreneur or something, you know, and I should do something about that. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to talk about that too. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I know I got to write this down. All right. That's taken care of. But yeah, yeah, that, that's the only drawback. So to face that drawback, remember, that's why I'm going to tell you what, get a, the savings. Don't buy anything extra unless you do have a significant surplus, right? Focus on always having at a minimum, at a minimum, your minimum should be three months rent or mortgage. And then you want to expand that to at least three months mortgage, rent, and your main utilities, and then you want to expand that to three months of rent, mortgage, utilities, car note, and then uh, food. Basically, you want to have three months where if you make zero dollars, you're covered. And that's at a minimum. If you can get four or five, even a year's worth of a savings where you don't have, any, you know, you, you are right for money, you're good. See, the thing, um, I was good last week because... Mm, uh, everything's paid for next month. <laughs> Everything is paid for the next few months. Just uh, how, you know, I get paid from different platforms and everything. So that's that's very important. So it's like, yeah, I could take I could I could take a little bit off. Now, my biggest issue is just being a workaholic anyway. It's not even it's not even a money thing. I just got to stay busy. So anyway, right. That's it for now. I want y'all to think about what I'm saying. If you're going to be in this thing, get those savings habits. Uh, uh, prepare for rainy days. I think that's the best way of looking at it, right? Because there's always that one drawback if you like independent. So anyway, that's it. Let's go out there and make that money.